All right, guys, I'm gonna be making a nice test here. Let me explain what I got here. I have here the EB50PL, or what is claimed to be EB50PL, and this cell is supposed to be able to handle 125 amps continuously until the temperature reach, all right? Um, let me show you what I got here. I have here a clamp that is rated for 100 amps. Uh, I have that connected right now to this load tester that is able to produce uh, 39 amps here the, of current. At the same time, I have connected these resistors, these ones, that these resistors are going to produce over 100 amps over uh, this cable. So I have a switch here. When I activate close this loop, it's going to release that uh, resistance. Uh, you're gonna increase the resistance on the cell automatically to 100, but I'm gonna activate this first. So we wanna push 139 or as close as we can. So I'm gonna be measuring the current right now with this fluke um, on this cell. I, here I have the cell fully charged. We are gonna monitor the sag to see how much the cell sag under that load. And uh, here I have uh you know monitoring the temperature of the of the cell with this uh fluke uh, uh meter right i don't know what i'm gonna what is gonna happen i have another one for another test but this is gonna be very interesting all right let's start uh i'm gonna start activating the the 30 uh 39 amps let's start by this let's see how sag and then immediately i'm gonna activate the other one all right, now we have 30, 39 amps, 3.8 is the load. Look at that, I'm gonna activate the other one. 3.3, and it's pushing 122, 3.28 is the sag. Keep going, keep going. Let's see the temperature. Remember, it's rated, well, it's doing good. It's, it's pushing 117. I know this is gonna heat up a lot. And actually I have this here to see temperatures. 114, wow, it's doing great. Maintaining, um, well, it's sagging 3.2, obviously, but look at that rate. 55, I'm gonna kill this as soon as touch 60 or close to 60. Wow, the cables are really hot, really hot. I'm gonna kill it now let me open now and kill here you know I don't want to destroy the cell it's off so it reach up to 70 it's gonna keep going reaching wow but it produced a lot actually it came off because it's much to be hot yep it's hot So we're gonna rely on this reading. It just came up here. Yep, but it's able to produce, you see the numbers, 120 plus number. Let's see, I'm touching the cell to see the temperature. So, yeah. It really push hard. 3.2 was the minimum number I seen in the sack. Look at that, it recovered. But yeah, it produced a lot. So I really wanna see the numbers, I mean, under 80 amps load. But yeah, actually surprised the JP40 in this test. Absolutely. Uh, interesting numbers. I'm gonna be posting this soon. And again, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do so, uh, DIY500AMP.com. If you want, uh, you know, you need any batteries, cells, I have back 45D, I have plenty here. Uh, downstairs, I have even more uh, EB40PL. Call for them. I mean, uh, EB30P, this is at 30 amps, 18650. We have plenty here. 
DIY500amp.com. Remember, uh, uh, subscribe to the Facebook group as well, DIY500amp. Uh, That's the website. And uh, if interesting, interesting. This file is a prototype or a pre release, pretty much, from the EB50PL. Interesting.